my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got an update on the nail wheels I like to use, you know, the ones that you can pop the polish right off. And um, my order did come in from um, 88 Beauty and I ordered a couple of packs of these. I just wanted to show you the packaging and um, there's two of them in here for $2.48 and um, I don't really, you know, there's nothing real super special about them. I guess this might be the item number here, PDB-SN2. And um, on my receipt, uh, it, just, it just says Indie Wheel. So, um, now the only thing about it is they are a great price, two of them for $2.48, and they're reusable. But the shipping is ridiculous. I mean, I ordered like five, six, seven, like the shipping's almost as much as the product. So that's the only, you know, hair in the, in the soup. So, <laughs> but today I'm going to use one of these brand new ones. My order from Live Love Polish from the Black Friday sale arrived and there are, I think, 13, eight England polishes and one floss gloss. So I figure we just hop on in and swatch these. Here we go with Let Me In, and it's a deep boysenberry red. I love this one. Actually, I love them all, but I, this is just really pretty. I love it. And next we have Briar Rose Sleeping Beauty, and it's kind of a cranberry scarlet kind of color with that scattered hollow in it. Oh, gorgeous. Next is Crown of Thistles, and this is an amethyst polish. My grandmother would love this one. She loved anything purple. She'd love that one. Next is Waltz of the Flowers, and it's a dark silver with a strong purple flash to it. It's kind of hard to see right now, but you'll get to see it. Next, we have Lady of the Lake, and it's a dusky dark purple. This might be one Lisa Hendy would like. Next up is Angel Grace, and it's more of an orchid purple. I know you're thinking, oh, look at all these purples and pinks. Yelp, that's my jam. So next we've got Kalinka, and Kalinka's a silver lilac. Very unusual for my collection. Um, once you see it at the end, I think you'll love it. Princess Tears is next, and this one's a pinkish purple. I don't have any fancy colors or anything to throw out there on that one. Just a pinkish purple. And Katyusha is um, an olive tinged silver colored scattered hollow. Oh, loving it. And this is King Copeta. I don't know. And it's just a black scattered hollow. And I say just a black scattered hollow. I own many, but this one's gorgeous. And this is the Seraphine. I love this one. It's like a dark blue teal and I love it. Next we have Natasha's Dance War and Peace and it's a black with a dark blue undertone to it and I'm crazy about this one. Next we have Spirit of the Moors which is a much brighter shade <laughs> and it's a bright cobalt blue. This one was a little sheer but that's okay. It's got an excellent formula, so we can build that rascal up. And finally, we have the Floss Gloss, and it's Malibu Job. And the camera's just not going to show you. Typical of neons, you're not going to see the real color of this. It is beautiful. It could be a one-coater. Now we're going to go for second coats for everything. In just a second. Here we go with Let Me In. Man, I love this. I'm telling you, if you own any A English, A England polishes, you know what I'm saying. I mean, there's Briar Rose Sleeping Beauty. They make some of the best polishes out there. They're just so pigmented and perfect. I don't have a single one that I don't love the formula on. And this purple one is, of course, Crown of Thistles. The formula is just knock my socks off. And that's just... And I've paid for all of mine. Nothing was ever sent to me for free. So that is coming straight from the heart right there. Sorry about that. The beeper for dinner went off. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm back. 
and we're continuing with Lady of the Lake. And like I was saying, A England really does have some amazing polishes. I would love to own everything that they have. I think they have a new collection out that I'm eyeing. I'm hoping maybe Santa Claus will bring it for Christmas. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Put in a good word. I need it. And here we go with Angel Grace. What I like about these polishes all being very similar in shade and Kalinka is that I think they'll make some really pretty gradients because they're so close but they're not dead on. I'm really looking forward to playing with that. Gotta get this nail wheel turned around without bumping anything. You guys know I make a mess. Be all bumping the swatches. And here's Princess Tears. And I will have swatches and bottle shots here at the end of the video. Katyushia. Katyusha. I don't know. Anyway. And here we go with King Kopithiu. That's what I'm calling it anyway. I'd just be the king. And here we go with Pro Seraphine. This one really is a favorite of mine. Um, maybe it's that time of year. I don't know. But I really do think it's gorgeous. And then Natasha's Dance, War and Peace. Mm. So pretty. And then the last of the A Englands, Spirit of the Moors. I'm so excited. And then Malibu Job. And I know this is a little oddball, but she came, you know, with this order. So um, she was the only lucky one out of the floss gloss that got to come home with me this time. But I had to put her in here. So there we go. And here is my, like, haul photo. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Here we go with Let Me In. Briar Rose Sleeping Beauty. Crown of Thistles, Waltz of the Flowers, Lady of the Lake, Angel Grace, Kalinka, Princess Tears, Katusha, King Kofithia, <laughs> Prosperfine, Prosperfine, Natasha's Dance, War and Peace, and Spirit of the Moors, and finally Malibu Job. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.